<clears throat> Hi, how's it going, everybody? This is Resident of Collinwood for YouTube. Um, resident under slash of under slash Collinwood for Bit Shoot, and I'm here to give a quick review of the Halloween Resurrection fan cut entitled Halloween Homecoming slash Resurrection, whatever you want to say. <laughs> I just watched this. You know, I'm a I'm a huge fan of Resurrection. I love it. This here pissed me off. And let me explain why. This is this is what I mean by revision. Okay? You take the parts out you hate or you dislike and you just throw in parts that you know people are going to love. You know, I often say that there's a lack of imagination with filmmakers or people who cut film. And this is that, a lack of imagination. You have a lack of imagination because instead of adding pieces of your own, you add pieces that you know people already love. Like the scene where... Loomis is talking to the doctors, which is in the alternate version of Halloween. There's a there's there's two versions of John's Halloween. There's 1978 the theatrical cut and there's the television cut where John had to add extra scenes. And they use that extra scene from that uh, movie where Loomis is talking to two doctors about Michael and he sees Michael in he goes and sees Michael in his room. They also have where Lori is telling Tommy, Doyle, and Lindsay Wallace to, you know, go call the go get help. They have that. They have where Loomis shoots him and they do some sort of edit where Loomis says something that he didn't say in the original. Then they have where Laurie Stroh gets killed in the asylum. And then they have a scene from uh, H2O where Michael breaks down outside the bathroom, which I hated. I hated that they had that in there. <clears throat> now let me get to my biggest nitpick. You want to talk about a character that gets hated on in the Halloween franchise? Look no further than Freddie Harris. And you know... I hate that this character gets hated on. I love Buster Rhymes' portrayal of Freddie Harris. I've often said I would never take anything out. If anything, I would add on to the character, not take away from. And for those who know me, I'm a fan fiction writer. What would I add on? Well, to further demonstrate he knew martial arts further, there's a sequence, and the, the sequence is in this fan cut too, where Sarah Moyer goes to Freddie Moyer's, or uh, Freddie Harris's apart, uh, apartment, or hotel, if you will. I'll say hotel, because it is a hotel. And Freddie Harris is walk, watching a martial arts movie. Now, for whatever reason, these Yahoo's cut the martial art, him watching that martial arts movie completely out. And then I'm, I'm thinking, well, why'd they cut that out? That made no sense. <laughs> and I'm going to get back to that. Well, no, I'm going to explain that now. Then I'll get to my, what I was going to say, what I would put in there. Because I got a video to do here with a friend of mine here at 1020. And I don't want to spend all the day on this hack job shit that they did, okay? I don't want to spend all day on this shit that they did. Because they did a hack job. A hack job. They removed the martial arts fight sequence between... That Freddie Harris put on against Michael Myers. And why did they do that? Well, let's be honest. Because a lot of people are haters and they don't love that scene. I do love it. I love it for what it is. And what it is... Is somebody who came back in the house when he didn't have to and Freddie Harris and saved Sarah Moyer's ass. And Sarah Moyer saved him too. 
Now, when Buster Rhymes' character, Freddie Harris, stands his ground, I've always viewed that as what Freddie Harris really is asking you, what would you do in the face of fear? What would you do? Because this is what he's doing. He is standing his ground. He's not running. He's making a stand. And he's going to go down swinging. And I've always appreciated that from that character. I think he's one of the most underappreciated characters in the franchise. And he always will be. And because of shit like this, it's going to continue. And, and and I mean that. This, this fan cut is shit. I hate it. I think they just did a, more of a disservice to it than anything else. Because it's easy to take things away and add things you know people are going to like. Well, why not write a fan film and do your own ideas? Write a fan film of Resurrection and do your own ideas. Use the same characters and do your own ideas. Do that. Because we all know fan films get made. Okay? Because this, to me, you, you did more of a disservice. I feel Freddie Harris was made to look like a chump in this in this fan cut. I think they just did a disservice to the character. And what would I do before I, I get along here? Because, you know, it's 927. What I would have done, I wouldn't have taken the martial arts sequence out. What I would have wrote in was, would have been, if it would have been me, write a sequence where they're at his hotel room. He's watching that martial arts movie. And when she comes knocking on the door, she's, remember, she's thinking about quitting. And he invites her in. That's what I would have changed. He invites her in. He doesn't just shoo her away or, you know, go go on and think about it. He invites her in. And he goes, you know, I can understand your hesitation. I can understand you wanting to quit. But don't quit. And I would have had him explain how... He quit something he loved once, and he regretted it. How he pulls out all these first place trophies, and they're for martial arts tournaments. And she goes, wow, you were really good. And he goes, yeah, I st still am, somewhat. Still practice sometimes. Not like I used to. And then he pulls out a trophy for second place. And he goes, somebody beat me. And I got second place and when I got this second place trophy I felt like I felt like the biggest loser I felt like I let my coach down my sensei I felt like I let my family down and then I quit and when I quit I regretted it every single day I still do and I think if you quit this competition you're going to regret it and that's a conversation him and Sarah could have had. That's what I would have done. But no, you get shit like this. People fan cutting the film because, well, we're just going to take out something they don't like that everybody hates. No, not everybody hates it. I don't. And there are people who do love it. Again, you know, it's easy to just sit back and nitpick, nitpick, nitpick. And that's what people do most about Resurrection for whatever fucking reason. <clears throat> to the uh, <clears throat> hold on give a uh, brief shout out here uh, oh because it's got to upload to uh, what is it Cole Edits yeah, thanks for wasting my time because that's all this was. All you did was hot shot this or tried to hot shot this to death. Um, I'm not here to kiss someone's ass. I don't do that on this channel. And I shoot straight. And that's how I feel. You know, again, 
creates something that adds, not just takes away, takes away, takes away from all the things that I felt made Freddie Harris who he was. I think in many ways by taking away, you took away Freddie Harris's identity of this man who chose to do the right thing. This man who, yes, was about greed in the beginning, chose to come back and save her and chose to stand up for fight for not just him, but fight for her and stand up to the face of fear that is Michael Myers. And to me, your your fan edit takes away that. That's just my opinion. All right, I'll see you guys here about 1020.